guys, I just wanted to do an unboxing video of my first only, I don't know, first blue apron delivery. Um, this is what the box looks like. I'm not going to show you the actual box close because it's obviously got my address on it. On the top here, it looks like... Hmm, these are like... Oh, I see. This seems like just an information sheet about parsley. There's just a bunch of different information on here. Tips and techniques. That's interesting. One of the things that I had read about Blue Apron was that it was almost like cooking lessons kind of wrapped in. These are my recipe cards. Let's see at the back. It has pictures with the uh, with the instructions, excuse me. My kids just got up from a nap and they're being wild. So this week I got the um I got the the meals for two. So it came with three recipes for the week. Um, having pan seared steaks, spiced turkey and chickpea chili, fingerling potato and kale hash. This is like the big, like a huge thermal bag. It's like glued at the top. So, everything inside. Let's go this bag. Okay. This looks okay. I have to say that the kale on top and, and the spinach are not the, the bottom of the spinach you can even see the condensation the bottom of the spinach is kind of cool to the touch um, the kale and the top of the spinach are definitely like room temperature So you can see like as I'm getting to the bottom things are cooler but the stuff on top is not cold. Chives. Everything is is portioned out and individually packaged and labeled because seriously I probably would just be clueless. Scallions. Okay, sorry. Uh, sweet peppers. These actually look really good. Good color, they're not mushy. Kale hash knickknacks. I don't know what this means. <laughs> I'm not an a very um, adventurous eater or cooker. Oh my gosh, it even comes with the eggs. Hold on, let me open this. Okay, you can see it comes in like a cardboard box and then it's wrapped up in, in brown paper and there's my two little farm eggs in there. One lemon. Okay, so this the lemon is cold. I don't see where are the where are the ice packs that are keeping everything. One garlic. My eggplant is pretty. Um, I don't cook with eggplant, so I'm not sure how to tell ripeness. But it's a little bit beat up because it was just kind of in there. This is cute with the little tag on there. Hmm. I even have a, a can of chickpeas in here. But, I mean, I'm showing you the inside of the box, I think, pretty well. and So it's pretty heavy and it's just kind of thrown in there, so I'm not sure if maybe that's what happened to my eggplant. My little fingerling potatoes. Um... This is so funny. Pocketless pita, keep refrigerated. And it's, it's just one. <laughs> you know, you guys are like, shut up, no one cares. Steak knickknacks. I need to open up one of these and see what that means. Turkey chili knickknacks. 
Sorry, my kitchen is a mess. I wanted to film this before my husband got home because I'm really shy. Another lemon. Here's a red onion. So another thing that I kept reading about, oh, this is, oh, I see. So there's just like a cardboard separator in here. Interesting. Um, one of the things that I had read was that um, they try to, oh, this is just a giant ice pack in the bottom. Oh, I see. And then, oh, let's see. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I don't know if this is from the ice packs kind of melting or premium cuts, ground turkey. Um, but there is, my bo the bottom of my box is definitely wet and had started to buckle. Grass-fed sirloin steaks. Um, it's pretty small. One of the things that I had read was that they try to source things locally, so source things locally, and, um, and give you as much organic as was possible, and I'm not sure, like, this stuff isn't really labeled, like, here... Most of my stuff says it's from California, which is about what I would expect. I'm in South Central Texas, so um, we don't grow much here except for giant cockroaches. Um, but like the, you see the um, the spinach and stuff. None of that is is labeled as far as source, or even if it's conventional or organic. So I'm not sure where that claim comes from. I'm not really seeing it. But hold on and let me let me open one of these knickknacks boxes and see what that's all about. Okay, so the knickknacks must be like where they put the spices. Look at this teeny tiny bottle of Tabasco sauce. I have super small hands to begin with. Look how tiny that is. Um, and this is the cheese. This is the kale hash knickknacks they call the bag. So this must be where just like the little items are, the sauces and the spices are, are packaged together so you know what recipe it goes with, which is smart. I would be lost. Anyway, that's it, and um, maybe I will post a video later um, when we cook one of the recipes to see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Bye.